What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Jaquela A. And I'm back with another nail tutorial. I'm doing a freestyle for a birthday set. It is a, well, it started off being a backwood Barbie theme. And at the last minute, she changed it to a backwood Bratz theme. So we did not have any um, Bratz stickers, decals, or charms. We did have some Barbie ones, but we didn't use them because she changed it to Bratz. However, it was pink and pretty and girly, had a lot of bling involved in it, and it came out cute in the end. Here I am just using my cuticle pusher to push the cuticle back. I am going up under her nails. If there's any dirt or grime up under her nails, just trying to get that out. If I'm around the nail plate and there's any, you know, skin or anything like that around the nail plate that I could just flick off then i'll do that if there's any like cuticle excess cuticle on the nail plate then i'll go in with that poker side and i'll just get that too but yeah i'm just gonna go across all of the nails and make sure that i am pushing back the cuticle very well that will help a lot with lifting not happening and with just the longevity of your nails in general i'm only using the nippers if there is big pieces of skin or cuticle that i can visibly see i don't really like to use it i don't like to tell people to use it because you can't easily cut somebody and if you don't treat cuts well then they can cause infections so i just like to steer clear of it but i use it in some instances when i can easily and obviously see that there's like a bunch of cuticle or a bunch of skin just hanging off of the nail plate and it's very easy to get at then in those cases i will use the nippers but for the most part you shouldn't really need it between all the files that you have and be between the cuticle pusher itself with both those ends you shouldn't really need it but hers were kind of bad so i went in and used it this is my McCart Nail Dust Collector. Sometimes if I'm only doing a light filing, I don't even plug it up. I just put it underneath where I'm um, using the e-file and it'll just fall right into the dust collector without the suction happening and without it actually being on. I'm using the Melanie Susie uh, Scarlet is the name of the drill that I'm using. I'm using it on a very, very low setting with a fine sanding band just to rough up the rough up the nail bed in preparation for the application that we're going to do The nail tips I use today are the McCart nail tips. They are in the clear and I cut them to mm. the desired length and then I'm going over the whole nail tip with the sanding band and I am going right in that area where the tip meets the natural nail just to make that as flush as possible. That will help with a flat application. I really wanna get those sides. So here are all the acrylics I use. That's Speed Clear from Young Nails, Cover Blush from Young Nails, Color Barbiana from Nail Teak, the color Legally Blonde from IGL Beauty, and the two glitters. This is Glitter 135 from Valentino Beauty Pure, and this is Pop Rocks from Nail Cakery. Love that Pop Rocks from Nail Cakery. I already know that I'm gonna buy it again when it runs out. As you can see, it's up there in the corner. It's almost out. 
that's a very beautiful glitter i'm using no lift nail primer off of amazon it's in a young nails nail primer um bottle so that's why this applicator that i'm using is not the one that it comes with because i poured it into my um protein bond bottle don't worry about it it's fine but that's what i'm using it's no lift it's not protein bond and you guys i was in a rush to do these nails when i started the acrylic process like right right here at this point when i started the acrylic process it was 12 30 my time and she told me that her ride was coming to get her at 1 30. so i tried my best to give quality but i still had to kind of rush and uh, apply all the acrylic and file it and do the bling in one hour and i am not really and well you y'all y'all tell me i don't feel like i'm really a slow nail tech but i do like to i do like to take my time i don't like to feel rushed i i do like to take my time i don't like to feel rushed i don't want to feel like i'm racing the clock or anything like that but i don't feel like i'm necessarily slow in a regular instance this set will take me two hours i had to jam it out in like an hour if you count the prep and the applying of the tips i'm gonna say it took me like an hour and 15 minutes to do this whole set but in a perfect world it will only take me two hours to do this and i don't feel like that's long i feel like for somebody that's not rushing not speeding just going at a natural pace that that's not too long but y'all let me know y'all let me know how long it takes y'all to do a medium freestyle and this is really like a medium short how long does it take you to do a medium short freestyle from prep to top coat cuticle oil and finish it'll take me about two hours if it's if it's not a freestyle it will take me a shorter amount of time but for all these elements going on and all these different design elements it will take me two hours so y'all let me know if that's too long and how long it will take y'all
so when i do my freestyles i don't really be knowing what i'm gonna do i really just go in with the colors i got the direction from the client like basically what she wanted was pink and girly and so i got my colors out and i know what type of charms and decals and stickers i'm gonna use and then i just go from there i bought some backwood barbie um water decals off of etsy and so i just cut off the barbie part and i used the backwood part to put inside of her nail i literally just cut it out and put it in a little bit of water and then it started to separate itself i didn't really have to separate it it started to separate itself i used tweezers to kind of i don't know to kind of like wrestle with it and i dried it off a little bit as well on this um blue paper towel just so that it's not putting too much liquid onto the nail because i have to cap it and clear but i just dried it off a little bit i used tweezers to really just maneuver it so that i can put it on the nail the way that i want it to be on there and that's really what i'm doing here you can't really see but here i'm just trying to dry it off a little bit and then place it exactly where i want it to be i decided to put it on the clear glitter nail it showed up fine but it definitely would have showed up better and it would have been prettier if i put it on a white nail or if i put it on the baby pink uh legally blonde color i think it would have showed better it actually would have showed up pretty cute if i put it on the cover blush as well i think it needed a almost opaque background to really really be impactful but i thought it was still cute on the glitter nail i did i thought it was still cute but it would have been better maybe on a different nail
all right and here's a little zoomed out shot because i was slightly out of frame and i noticed it so i zoomed out and this is just me using my cross cut bit and course it's a large cross cut bit that i got from young nails it is my absolute favorite i am going across the whole nail just to file it um smooth and get any lumps and bumps out that i may have for my application my application is not flawless by any means so this step is crucial for me and my final product i'm also going really close in on that cuticle area just to really seal in you want to really seal in that cuticle area um if you're using a carbide bit be very careful to not cut the client practice does make perfect so i've been told but um i don't use carbide bits because i just really really get anxious when it comes to possibly cutting anybody and um so yeah once i found out about these i just completely 86 the whole learn how to use carbide bits thing and i just use this and it works very well very effective i have clients who nails last six seven weeks so you know would recommend 10 out of 10 would recommend especially if you're nervous about cutting somebody and you can't manage that and you know just get through and learn how to use that carbide bit then go ahead and take this route i see no problem alright y'all so we are done with the filing and as always I'm gonna take some alcohol and a brush just so I can get really good up in those cuticles and get that dust out of there and I'm going to spray them and then just rub the brush over them and alcohol dries really fast so by the time I'm done doing that and setting up for my bling and setting up my light for my top coat then you know the alcohol is dry by then today um in front of me i have the zule nail adhesive my favorite 
bling gel i'm sorry bling adhesive the zule bling adhesive it's my favorite bling glue just is i've repurchased this glue so many times it is foolproof 10 out of 10 definitely will recommend i have the beetles bling gel in front of me i got that off of amazon it works really well and it's very inexpensive and i've used it on quite a few sets with big bling i've even used it on my own set that i had with big bling i had um like 15 big pieces of bling and none of them fell off so that that's just locked that in for me i will be repurchasing this repurchasing this after it runs out it's really really inexpensive but it's quality i have these neon uh crystals here they are not Swarovski but they're very very pretty I actually think I got them off of AliExpress and this is the only stone that I use besides the bigger pieces that I also got off of AliExpress and I'll show you those in a minute that's just me putting my light underneath my hand rest and plugging it up because I forgot to do that but yeah I'm just going in randomly with the bling here i am showing you guys the big pieces this is the up close of them i got them off at the express if i can't remember the store i'll put it in the um description but when i'm on there y'all i'm just be doing random stuff like i literally will go on aliexpress and just type in like big crystals for nails or be like big bling for nails or i'll type in type in bling for nails and i'll just find anything and if the reviews look right if there's pictures in the reviews depending on what the ratings is depending on the price and i'll just buy them and aliexpress is always a gamble it's always 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 a gamble i've heard of people placing whole hundred dollar orders and just not getting stuff so it's always a gamble i've definitely not got stuff before not gonna lie you can put a claim in it'll take months but you can get your money back if you don't get certain stuff so it's not a complete dead end but it is very risky however i continue to take the risk because the reward is so great you could spend like i think one of those packs of bling like the big one with 50 pieces i think it was like two dollars two dollars for those big pieces and no they're not Swarovski but they're very pretty and they look great on something like a birthday set which is what I'm doing here today it looks really really pretty so you know I know we all know about Aliexpress but that's just a little tidbit to keep in mind even though there may be some negative things said about Aliexpress the reward if it does work out for you the reward is so great so yeah i'm just continuing to place the bling all throughout and i just want to take this time to thank all of y'all for subscribing to my youtube channel i'm almost at 300 youtube subscribers and that's amazing to me like i don't go that hard with my uploads because i'm always trying to upload interesting things and a lot of my clients it ends up being just you know a little bit repetitive and it's not necessarily the most exciting sets of nails but i'm really trying to set my game up in 2021 and i'm just trying to come harder trying to use my practice hand more i got a ready guana practice hand and i'm just really trying to step my game up in general so that i can get way more uploads out and just more often and quality videos on top of that but i just want to thank y'all so much for subscribing if you are here and you are not subscribed please do it'll help me out so much and when i hit 500 subscribers i am going to do a not polished giveaway and then i'm going to do a giveaway every 500 from there so 500 a thousand 1500 2000 so on so forth and it's always going to be something nail related and it's always going to be subscriber based just to give back to you guys because the more interaction that you get with your youtube channel obviously you guys know that that helps me out a whole bunch and i really 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 appreciate it so thank you so much for subscribing and if you are not subscribed then what you waiting for go ahead and subscribe stop playing <laughs>
so after finishing with the cuticle oil this is the final look right here i really enjoy how this came out she was thrilled with how this came out and obviously that's all that matters that's what's most important so i'll check you guys out in the next one and thank you so much bye